Hey, I'm Lewis Spears, I'm a stand-up comedian, and as we all know, television is terrible these days, and sometimes TV is so bad that I can't even critique it by myself, and I need to bring in some backup. So welcome to my new series called Terrible TV, where myself and another stand-up comedian are going to pick apart some awful television I've found. I'm joined by Luke Kidgel, he's a stand-up comedian, very good friend of mine, and he does the radio show Luke and Lewis with me. Let's get into it, this is episode Episode one of Terrible TV. Have you ever seen World's Strictest Parents? Uh, no. They take like uh, horrible, uh, rebellious teenagers and they oh, remove they them from the family, family and they chuck them uh, yeah. in an abusive family. It's and... pretty much just like the plot of <laughs> Harry Potter and the yeah. Philosopher's Stone. Except like... instead of learning magic, you learn how to shut the Fuck up yeah. when, you, when you're being spoken to. Uh, yeah. I found that I thought was great. Hi. Hey. I'm Audrey. I'm Brent. My first impression of Brent was just like, oh my god, he like looked like tough to me. It looks like he hasn't had a haircut in three years because he's afraid of scissors. And he's sitting outside of a fucking servo punching a dart. That's, that's not, not tough. tough, that's called homeless. He's like, oh, he looks really tough, and then he just inside his brain, he's like, fuck, what's two plus two? Is it ten? <laughs> it's not the way, man, that's tough. <laughs> also, that's my favourite thing about this is they're getting teens from two different families. They're gonna fuck. They're, of course they're gonna fuck. She's already like, my first impression is he's tough, and she's just so stupid that, yeah. And also, she's wearing a bandana, so you know she does anal. And she has a nose piercing as well. Oh, yeah. Which means she takes it in both holes at the same time. <laughs> she loves to party, so do I, so she's pretty cool. He's all right. Dude, that guy's got the most triangular head I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he looks like you. I was about to say, he looks like you. <laughs> all right, so it's me, guys. Uh... I've got a confession to make. This actually is uh, me. <laughs> Uh, and that's why the girl thought I was so tough. And yes, we did do anal. Yeah. Uh, wasn't very good. Here's our ride. Who says this is our ride? <laughs> that's what the Autobots say. <laughs> Autobots. Here's our ride. He's like, roll out. <laughs> this dude's a fucking transformer. <laughs> Stop turning into a tractor. He's oh, man, too tough, fuck all. <laughs> Optimus dumb cunt. <laughs> What do you think we're gonna make us do? Chores? I ain't digging that. I'm not their bitch. This guy talks like how a 30 year old man thinks 15 year old guys talk. <laughs> yeah. Do chores? I ain't digging that. Not their bitch. And you put that in a book and you read it and you go, this guy doesn't know how teenagers yeah. speak. <laughs> he's, a, he's a character in an out of touch novel. This cunt <laughs> thinks he's shaggy with a cigarette. <laughs> From fucking Scooby Doo. <laughs> I thought you meant Shaggy the rapper. <laughs> no, dude. Does he look black? That's why I was like, man, I don't think you've seen Shaggy in a while. <laughs> His dad's a porn star. He's gonna teach him how to fuck and then film it. Look at that mustache. Oh, uh, yeah. They have a lot of kids. How you doing? I'm Mark. Audrey. Nice to meet you, Audrey. The dad looked like he could be a sometimes. And the mom definitely looked like she could be a what hard do you reckon ass. He said? Do you reckon he said a bitch? He could have said anything then. The I'm, dad looks like he could he be... Could have been a something, something. He must have said cunt. But Americans don't say dick. cunt. Dick. He would have said dick. Yeah. Come on in. We brought them inside to explain to them what they were going to be going through. We have some rules. There's no swearing. You know the words. If you add the word God to those words, or the word Jesus to those cult words. Cult leader! I knew he was a cult leader. I fucking called it. If you add Jesus to those words, you get taken out of the basement and you fuck me and my 30 wives. If you add the word God to those words, or the word Jesus to those words, the punishment gets worse. The only time we want to hear you say those is if you're praying. Make sure that they understood we're in charge and their role was to just be obedient. But can you say, dear Lord, fucking awesome shit, God? <laughs> There's clothes we're going to approve of and clothes we're not going to approve of. What? Clothing is an issue. 
But she's showing off a little bit of titty there. She's got a bit of top titty there. Yeah. You know? Maybe that's the issue. Not enough tits, too much bandana. Mm. Smoking. That's another issue too. So we suggest you don't. See, anyone who says we suggest, that means that if you do it, you're going to lose your teeth. Yeah. No one's like, if you say, hey, don't do that, that's like, if you do it, time out. If you go, we suggest, you're going to get murdered. Yeah. What I need you guys to do is get your personal effects only, toothbrush, deodorant, something to sleep in, and your undergarments, and put them in these bags. What? Imagine if the chick opened her suitcase and just vibrators and dildos just fell everywhere. What do you mean imagine? That's what's about to happen. They're teenagers. That's what teenagers do. They try and get away with anything they can get away with. Do socks count as undergarments? But that means she did some hectic shit when she was 15. Yeah. Like before the cult years. Definitely. Actually, that's anyone who's in a cult. Yeah, they were just like in a truck stop getting railroaded by three truckies at once and they're like, you know what, maybe I should join a cult, yeah. clean my life up a little bit. Mm. But then they're just getting railroaded by their cousins in the mm. basement. Not so much of an improvement. Mm. Probably would smell better though. Like, I have to earn my clothes? The so bedrooms are the same thing. You have to earn everything. All I saw was a bare room, a bed, and some lights. That was all that was in there. Yeah, like, these parents, are, these parents are just overtly being assholes like like they're this is not being strict this is like it's being abusive it's like de yeah denying it's, it's, children. it's degrading people like imagine having to work for your hoodie that you own already that's so degrading it's like bro i fucking earned this shit i sold so much weed you can't take it from me <laughs> i earned this like a businessman that was all that was in there and these are the clothes you'll have okay they're dressing him like the dad yeah and then they're gonna undress him like the dad in a minute. That's some culture. What's that like thing that uh, the farm people do? People rape? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like people. Those people who don't like have any Amish people. Amish, yeah. yeah that's right. what Amish people do. Yeah. The first first thing I did was hide my weed in my vodka. I really want to smoke, but I don't know how there's a way with me not getting caught. So I want to ask you a question real quick. Do you want to fess up with anything? Um, no consequences uh, at this point. No consequences? No consequences. If you, you fess up to chance. me. You get one chance. Fess it up now. This dude's the worst liar of all time. Like, who the fuck lies like this? Hey, man, did you steal that? Oh, <laughs> no. Nah. He's just like, uh, uh, uh. If you cover your If you cover your face with a body part, no one can tell you're lying. Like, the person is standing there and asks him, and he's like, uh, let me answer that. Uh. <laughs> Oh, you asked me a question yeah, online. Okay. Hey, man. Yeah? Are you funny? Yes? <laughs> See? He's lying. He's not very funny. I was getting ready to say no, and I was like, they're just going to find my cigarettes, and there's going to be a bigger consequence. All right, go on. Let's go. What do you got? Cigarettes. <laughs> He's like... You're yeah, all right. <laughs> Dude, he's wearing two pairs of underwear. Yeah, one for Siggy's and one for his dick. Yeah, but the thing is, he's reached under the where his dick is. So he's put on two pairs of underwear. He's like, well, I'll put him in just one <laughs> pair of underwear. And then he's just put his nuts and his bags in the same place. Mm. This guy is next level smart. Some people want their kids to put quarters in a jar when they cuss. I want them to move hay. It leaves a more lasting impression, I think. However you want to take it. Take it on over. Atta boy. He had to carry it 100 yards. They weigh between 90 and 110 pounds. And the, the funny part is, is that you just used one curse word. If you use a string of curse words, that's a lot of hay. Yeah. Moving bales of hay. Is, every time, if he made me do that, I'd be like, oh, fuck this. And then he'd be like, get another one. I'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's been a never ending cycle of hay and fuck. I've always thought that, like, what if you were the kid and you were just like, nah, man. It's like high school. When you realize that, like, if the teacher's like, can you not? And you're like, and one day you snap and you go, oh, what? <laughs> and then th th they just lose power of you. You're going to give me detention that I won't rock up to, and then you'll give me two more, and I won't go to them? It's like, sweet. Cheated the system. You bust out of the matrix. The rule car, the pants yeah, come yeah, up. They're fine, dude. They're not fine Brent. for us. And I'm not dude. Dude, I'm going to sleep. Not right. the dude. Get up, Brent. You're losing a mattress. 
nobody wants anything to go the way it did. But if you see a fire break out, you immediately put it out. You don't wait for it to turn into a forest fire. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I'm gonna sleep on the floor. Cause he didn't want to pull his pants up. That's sick. He wasn't, didn't have his dick out. Can I talk to you for a second in here? No. I'm not talking about last Brent, night. I need to talk to you. Come on. It's not. Listen, it's listen. no, it's over with. First thing in the morning, he's like, I'm gonna fucking put my cap on. <laughs> he's wearing the same outfit too. Yeah. Cap on back. Well, they've only given him. He hasn't oh, earned his other clothes. That's true. I was gonna make fun of yeah. him, but he's actually a victim of child abuse. Yeah. So, poor cunt. Did you get it raked up, Brent? Yeah, most of it. Can you get all of it? I mean, how much is all of it, like? Pretty much all of it. I don't like it to look sloppy. The guy doesn't understand what 100% means. Oh my god. Audrey. I wanted her to Wait. see that she shouldn't use that word anymore. And that if she did, it was going to cost That's her. That's not what a swear word is. If, if most people think it's okay, it's not a swear word. Uh. Most people would say, oh, that's not profane. But at some point, she should be able to control herself. Yeah, that's <laughs> not. Swear words are only things that most people think are fucked. Mm. Or not good. We had a very good day. So what we're gonna do is let you guys have time away from us. We gotta let them fuck and smoke weed. Forever. <laughs> um, we have a place up in the woods you can go camping. And he's got that tough dick. <laughs> he's got that legless elf dick ready to fuck. He's gonna be like, Autobots, roll out and just rail her in the woods. And <laughs> that wanna come over and you can bring the tent up there and sleep in two separate tents. Boys, <laughs> and you can Oh, look at her face. She okay. was like, no, nah, I'm definitely not going to do that. Yeah. Look at her face. That's, she's like, ah, and you can ah, I, I want to fuck you. Okay. okay, but what about all the rules? Yeah. There's still rules. You know what the rules are, okay? There's still no swearing, still no smoking. But I do want you to have fun. Thanks. You're welcome. Surely she knows that they're going to swear. Well, that's why they're doing it. So there's been more content, more bales of hay tomorrow. And also, look how miserable their actual kids look. Like, yeah, they don't true. say anything and they just mope around like, I hate my parents. Like, the actual kids are so miserable because he doesn't want to turn out like old mate mustache. But he is because he's wearing the same t-shirt. Yeah. Here. So I should, like, uh, separate it? Right. We just we chilled up in there. Yeah, see, they fucking hate their parents and they love the new people because they know how to swear. Yeah. We all get along. Look at his chin. It's you, man. It's not me. My chin is not that strong. I can't believe you're so fascinated by a mirror. Whoa, look at this reflection. <laughs> I thought of bringing my alcohol or weed with me, but I respect the parents. I feel like we've gained a trust for each other. I she doesn't need to be on the show anymore. She's just learned how to be a good human in about 48 hours. Yeah, that was all, all they were like was like, hey, um, if you're a cunt, you can't wear clothes. And she was like, oh, I guess I want to be a cunt. Then. The worst thing she's done is say, oh my God. Accidentally as well. Like at least he said, damn. Like they, you know what? These, this is kind of boring because they haven't actually done anything wrong. No. These parents are looking for reasons to punish them because they the kids aren't that bad. No, they've They're just, just been like, like, hey, uh, you need to change how you speak naturally. I've got like 10 mates that are way stupider than him. Oh, yeah. No, I oh. I'm gonna... What'd you say? Yeah. I do it. He used a cuss word every other word, pretty much. It's a bitch, bitch. Oh, he's freaking out the other kids. He said fuck and they didn't even, they were like, oh shit, you can do that? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm surprised one of the kids didn't jump in the fire. <laughs> Just to cleanse themselves from fuck. Of a swear word. Yeah. He's like, wow, you swear? He's like, yeah, man, you know what else? I don't fuck my dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> You're the coolest guy ever. <laughs> I fuck my dad all the time and I don't swear. <laughs> and I scoop his poo in the morning after we're done. <laughs> you guys fun last night? Yeah. 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 Obviously we weren't there. Was everything done according to the rules? So is her whole family full of snitches? If you did do something and you fess up first, that's less of a consequence than yeah. if someone rats you out. Dude, how fucking alpha would it be if you came into the family and bashed all their kids? You just stepped in and you just beat the fuck out of their children. That kid kind of looks like Troy Bolton in High School Musical, he but like an does. ugly version. Yeah. He's got that like sing. Bieber cut, but like 
not in a cool way. Yeah. In like a, my mum got a bowl way. <laughs> well, I counted 20. Right. Jeez Louise. Um, <laughs> just proven like this whole thing is that this kid is so dumb. All it's proven is that their punishments don't work. He did that yesterday and was still like, ah, fuck this. And then was like, ah, I'll just do it again tomorrow. You know what? It's probably the only thing to do on the farm. It's probably fun. Yeah. It's fun than hanging out with them. This show proved nothing. It showed that this family is weird and culty. Yeah. And that you can't change people by using hay. Yeah, I feel like if, if, if hay is your first option yeah. into changing rebellious children, hay... Doesn't work. <laughs> it should have been straight down to the dungeon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Basement or nothing. That would work on me. Oh, yeah, man. I feel like if, if I was like a bit of a rebellious kid, like I drank a bit of vodka, I smoked mm -hmm. a little weed, if my parents just shipped me off to a stranger and he raped me, straight A's. Boom. I'd be a straight A student. So, any parents watching? That's how you do it. Is that how we're going to end the video? Advocating strangers raping kids? Because I love it. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, guys. This is a new series, uh, so let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions uh, for us to watch, or if you have any suggestions of other guests, if you hated Luke, uh, let me know who else you'd prefer to have on. Uh, we'll be hard finding those comments. <laughs> It'll be a lot, of, lot more of this. Oh, a lot more people just heading over to my channel going, I'll just watch Luke this... Because I pretty much do this by myself on my channel. Yeah, so if you want to check but, out his channel... So if you want to watch like this, but if it was like, good, <laughs> head over to my channel. But if you want to keep watching this, then great. <laughs> so subscribe. Nah, thanks for having me on, man. Really appreciate it. No worries, nah, dude. Always love building your channel up. You know. <laughs> I felt like that's a bit... How many subscribers do you have? Pardon? <laughs> oh, yeah, but how many laughs are on my channel, though? <clears throat> a lot more laughs. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh. you're entertaining a bunch of orcs. So if you're a fucking orc, go check out Luke's channel. If yeah. you're a human or a high elf, this is the place. Nah, you know you've just got a bunch of fucking Reddit fiends watching this shit. <laughs> and this is a... Do you really think a video where we advocate child rape is going to make front page of Reddit? Huh? I don't think so. No. Chuck it up on Reddit. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs>